Hey guys, you're watching Daniel and Gian React, and today we are going to check out the official trailer for Sajan Singh Rangrut. Uh, came out a few days ago, February 5th actually, so oh, what is that, almost a week ago? Five Half days ago? Ago. Five days ago. Depends on whenever this video comes uh, out. Film comes out the 23rd, March 2018 this year. Uh, I believe it's a World War I uh, biopic. Not sure. Which but. is interesting because you never hear about Indians in World War One. No. Although, at least in American although studies. If, if you go to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and you go all the way to the top, they have like all the uniforms. of What was it? The Arc de Triomphe. Um, I don't know what that's. I don't know what that means. Arc de Triomphe. Sounds like a cuss word. The Arc. The Arc of Triumph they have. It's oh. really famous. A lot of other people have used it. Uh, Anyways, uh, if you go to the top of it, they have like all the different uniforms of the countries who were involved in World War One, like as a memorial, and there is There's an Indian, Indian uniform. Uh, but uh, let's just get into it. Don't take us a job. I'm take nahi hai sab. Main sari rat saw nahi paya. अख बंद करता तो मैं धीरा दिखता शहीद हुए हर फौजी का मूह मेरे अखा मूहे आता सूबेदार साहब जंग की यही सच्चाई है पुत्र हालात तेन जानना पैदा तो हाई गल हो इतो ही बच सकता है जरा हिम्मत न कम लवे साढ़े डुले खून की कोई कदर भी पेगी उधर जर्मन की गिनती बहुत ज्यादा हालात बहुत माड़े ने सजन वीरे मैं पंजाब जाना ਆਪਾਂ ਮੁੜਾਂਗੇ ਨਾ ਯਾਰ ਅੱਜ ਕੌਣ ਖਿੱਚ ਲਿਆ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਗੋਰੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸੱਤ ਸਮੁੰਦਰੋਂ ਪਾਰ ਬਰਤਾਨੀਆ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੀਤੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਜ਼ਿੱਦ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੱਜਣਾ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਜੰਗ ਲੱਗੀ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਖੜ ਕੇ ਪਿੱਠ ਵਖਾਉਣਾ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਮੌਤ ਦੇ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਸ ਜੰਗ ਦੇ ਦਰ ਲਈ ਜਿੱਤ ਲਈ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਦੇਸ਼ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਜ਼ਾਦ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਰ ਹਾਲਤ 'ਚ ਜੰਗ ਜਿੱਤਣੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਹੈ We must win this war. जे जंग कली हथियार के बंद जीती जाती ना तो बबा बंदा सिंह बहादुर कद सरहद ना फतेह कर पाते असि तो उन्होंने सरहदा की राखी ले खड़ गए जेड़े साडिया सरहदा में आ बैठे से It was a cool trailer. I liked it. I, I thought the cinematography looked pretty good. It's an inter. I mean, I'm sure. I'm assuming this is based on a, on a true story, so it's interesting, you know. Because we've said before, like we don't hear about other people's heroes. We don't hear about what other people contributed to to any of the wars. All we hear about is what you know the when US America saved. came and exactly. then we saved the day. Exactly stuff like that. And you know, we know about all the war heroes, American war heroes, and whatnot. You you know, we'll learn about like the ancient. Well, not even ancient, but you know, like Napoleon and. Alexander the Great, I guess that is ancient, but you know, um, Ivan the Terrible, things like that, like the European, like the big ones, the big ones, the big names, but like certain generals, like we know Hannibal because he, you know, had an army of elephants, which is cool in itself. That's pretty <laughs> badass. I yeah, gotta say. yeah, it's pretty badass. But uh, uh, I mean, so like recently there was a video game that came out called Battlefield One, and they like incorporated some. British Indian uh, Army soldiers in right. it, and like there's 
there are actual people you can play in the game where you they have the turbans on and everything. They just like this, the Sikhs. And um and then and there's there's lots of games that incorporate it, but not a lot of movies touch on it. Right. I know I know when we uh we uh someone mentioned in the comments at one point about Wonder Woman about how like there was no like all the the scenes were like cool, but there was no Indians involved in right. any of the scenes except for like the one guy. He was an Indian though. What There's was Moroccan. he? Yeah, and it was like, but anyway, um, I really enjoyed the trailer a lot. What I didn't like, just to get it out of the way, I didn't like the over the top English white guys. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's a very small portion of it because I understand why it needs to be there. I get the oppression. I get it. But it also just kind of reminds me of like Disney films, like Remember the Titans or The Help, where it's like, here's a white guy being oppressive to black people. Like we yeah. all know that happened. We all know that the Indians were mistreated by the English people. So what can this movie do? I mean, I, I just I think it's just a character thing to like make an extreme so that you really root. For no, that's what I'm saying. Story. I'm not. I'm not you talking know, bad I, about it. I'm just saying I hope that's not what the whole movie's about. Right. I hope it's. I don't not... think so. I mean, the trailer that gives us a small part of the right, trailer. Right. That's what I'm too, saying. So I, I, that's a, that's know. why I said I want to start by. I'm sure it starts negative. off where they go in and then like, they don't get unit. any respect, yeah. and then at the end of it all, like they get the respect, which but, I'm fine with, 100. Yeah. percent uh, I also like the cinematography. I like the color scheme. It looks like they were using a uh, like a dual. It's like a tritone. That's what they call it. Where uh, actually it's two. It's a two colored. It's a bypass color system that was used. Like Scorsese used it recently in The Aviator, but it used to be done way back in the recently. 40s and 50s. <laughs> I'm just saying, so like this shot that you're pulling up right now has yeah. a blue sky, yellow background. It has those two colors. And they would, this was one of the first attempts to get film into color. Which is, this is cool too because it looks painted. Kind of exactly. like uh, the scene, the, I mean that scene in, in Thor Ragnarok where the Valkyries are getting destroyed. <laughs> And slow right, motion, absolutely. Like, I, it's it's the cinematography is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, there's other shots with the German soldiers, and you could just see like two forty two, where you actually FYI. see uh, the different color schemes that I'm talking about. But what I what I enjoyed about this is it seems to, I'd like to see how the colors are used in the film too. If they if they are yeah, for, all for the war purposes, scenes, all you know? the war scenes, all the war scenes, excuse me, seem to be using this this. Colors. We see when they're in the barracks and they're talking to each other, it's like yellow, you know. So I'm wondering like what kind of feelings that they're we should, trying to invoke. We should with bring that. up we're, this we're, question that we brought up before and didn't get answered because we were just starting because it was our very first video. Uh, to all the Sikhs out there and to everyone, does it not? Would it not concern you to wear a helmet into combat? Well, no, no, they've, this, they've mentioned that. Not well, no. They've I'm commented saying, this, that you know the Sikhs are so brave that they're not. Well, no, I'm saying, but that doesn't. That, that's getting, what I'm asking. Yeah, they're not worried about getting well, shot in the head. Well, people haven't seen this video. Not all of our subscribers are the same. We're right. new people, so I'm proposing this out there because I we mentioned this in a previous so video. Yes, I understand the significance of it and it's important, but so is not getting your head blown off by a German sniper. So, like, clearly, people always stuck by their beliefs. Because every single representation, they're always yeah. wearing their turban. But I'm asking you, people who are live right now into 2018, not in not in, in World War One or World War Two, right now, if you were to go into active combat, would that ever bother you? Would you ever question that? And I might sound ignorant or arrogant by asking it, but you That's know, ignorant. I think it's a I think it's a valid question You're because so you can just get. I mean, just so easy to just get shot in the head, and that's it. You know, a whole a life is ruined. You don't know what that life could have done had they worn a helmet. Well, that's also assuming that, you know, these guys are that good at shooting people as well. You know, well, they're not the damn stormtroopers from Star Wars. <laughs> I know, but I I don't know. I, I I think I think it's a lot harder to snipe people than we think. Obviously, I mean, and I think the technology now, like guns back then, are not shooting the way you. Can. That's what I'm talking about. That question is for people in yeah. 2018. You know, enlisting. Um, is that a concern or is it even valid? Yeah, I mean, uh, how many? We don't even know how many of our our subscribers are Sikh. You know, it's never really brought up. So if you are one of our Sikh subscribers, like, let us know in the comment section. It'd be nice to have a little interaction about that. I've said it before. Uh, I grew up with a lot of Sikhs. You know, we have. One of the largest Punjab, or no, excuse me, Punjab. They're all from the largest community from Punjab in uh, the United States, and there's even a huge Sikh temple in in the city as well. And a funny fa fun fact: when I was there for my birthday weekend last weekend, uh, the movie theater had five or six different 
Indian films going on along with all the, the, the mainstream films. So that should give you an idea. Of you didn't even watch Padmavat. Well, I had seven people with me, so, you know, they, they, they weren't they as... They would all love to watch it. They weren't as interested in watching it as uh, as I was, so it happens. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching. You know, Thanks for real. recommending this trip. Yeah. I, I really liked it. I it definitely cool. will watch it. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of good World War One movies out there. Paths of Glory being the only exception, in my opinion. Uh, I liked War Horse the Spielberg film. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, but there's just not a lot of World War One stories out there, period. And it was the first huge... All quiet on the Western Front, bro. Oh, that that too. That that counts. All right, I'll, 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 I'll accept that one. You retract that statement. Um, I mean, that's still no, three it's movies. Not, it, it, World War One is not as glorified here, and I think the biggest reason... Because we entered the war late? Yeah, we the, US was not, the U.S. was not a big part of World War One. World War Two, we have Pearl Harbor... Um, and then, you know, D-Day and all that. So there's a lot, a lot, or, and, uh, what is, what's, what was the general's name? MacArthur? You know, General MacArthur in Northern Africa. So there's, there's a lot of big campaigns that the U.S. was part of in World War II. World War One, not so much. I feel, we're definitely... Patton, you mean? Because Patton, they did a movie on Patton. There's Patton, and MacArthur's the other guy. General Douglas MacArthur. Yeah. He's pretty big. Um, I think Patton was the one in North Africa, though, so you're right. Um, but, yeah, I think... That's probably one of the reasons why we don't see as much World War One stuff. But here. it's crazy though. I mean, because what's that World movie with James Franco where they go to France to become pilots and they join like the French I, I don't military? Know. I genuinely don't know. But it, but it's a, it's a crazy war because there was no Geneva Convention. There was no uh, limitations on using mustard gas and and bombing people. And the, the fact trench warfare was still a. I mean, the evolution of war. Was because of World War One, right? Because people were using these ancient methods that to fight, and they realized they weren't going to work. People were using swords and horses and stuff, and now once like weaponry, once automatic weaponry came around, that, that changed the game completely. And just tanks, flyboys, by the way, airplanes, and everything else. I mean, people, people still. I mean, there's a story that goes around that Poland was so was taken so easily because when when Hitler and his armies started to in, to invade Poland. Um, they rolled in with their tiger tanks and the Polish people lined up waiting for battle to happen in on their horses. And you I just got mowed down. And you there's no yeah. amount of horses in the world that'll stand up to one tiger tank, let right. alone a, a, an armada of tar, uh, tiger tanks. I could fuck a tiger tank up. Yeah, in Call of Duty maybe. You gotta shoot it from in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shoot a tiger in the front in Call of Duty. But anyway, no, so it's just... It's it's very interesting. That's all I'm saying. So like to get more stories from this era, but from an entirely different perspective, is always a, yeah. an enlightening it's thing. Pretty good. And it looks well made, and that's that's the best part. That, that, you know, there's people that make war movies out there that are, eh. glorify it, or they don't do it. They don't have the right. It's just not yeah. the knowledge behind it. Exactly. So it's uh, I'd like to I'd like to see what the the conflict is more than the the superficial we saw stuff we saw in the trailer. So I think. I feel like this movie goes a little deeper than what the trailer said, which is good. Like we don't like the trailer revealing everything. So, but uh, that being said, that's gonna end this reaction video. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. And we will see you next time. Check out these other reaction videos we have over here. We'll see you soon.